Hey bitches, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a fill-in on these two week old nails. That's why they're not really that grown out. But while you guys watch me do these nails, I'm gonna tell you guys another story time on why I had to ban another client. And don't forget to comment down below what you guys think about this, because I'm actually really curious to see if you guys think what I did was right, or if I should have handled it a different way. But anyways, to start off the story time, this was a client that had only came to me one time before. And you know, everything went pretty good. I just did her nails. She was just watching the TV. And once I finished, she left. About a month later, she texts me and she says, Hey girl, my sister wants to book a nail appointment. Is it okay if I give her your number? Do you do anything for referrals? I have two sisters that want their nails done. Now, I didn't respond right away because I was working on another client. So she ended up sending her sisters my number anyway. So then that's when I texted her. Hey girl, I just got your sister's message. Thank you so much for referring them to to me. So she proceeds to ask, do I get anything for referring them to you, like money off my next services or something? Question mark. I wanted to get my nails done too on the 19th or the 20th of this month if you give anything for referrals. Now before I go any further, I just want to explain why I don't do anything for referrals. The reason why I don't give discounts for referrals is because I have a lot of other things that I do for my clients, such as giveaways for free nail sets. I have loyalty cards. By the time they get all of their whole punches in, they could get a free set. But one of the main reasons as to why I wasn't really doing referrals at this time either was because I had just spent over $300 on gift boxes for my clients because I was going to give them away for the month of December as a little gift. And keep in mind, it was October during this time. Last but not least, another reason why I, I don't do referrals is because it honestly wouldn't be fair for me to give her a discount for referring her sisters to me if I don't do that with my other clients. I honestly think when someone refers people to you, it's because it comes out of the heart, not because they expect something out of it. You know what I mean? Anyways, continuing on with the story time, that's when I had texted her. Um, unfortunately, I don't do that at the moment. I'm sorry. I'll definitely start doing that in the future though. And I always try to be very nice and calm when I'm texting clients back. Like one thing I'm not gonna do is sit here and be rude to somebody even if they're being rude to me because at the end of the day this is my job, you know? That's when she texts me, okay, unfortunately we won't be coming anymore since I'm not able to get anything off, even $5 or something off. And I texted her back, that's okay, sorry for the inconvenience. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that text did rub me off the wrong way. I don't know if it's because of the way I read it. Or if she did, mean it in a petty way. Exactly five days later, she texts me again, asking to book an appointment. And I said yes, because I did not know that was her texting me for an appointment. I have so many unsaved numbers, so I really... It just didn't register in my mind that that was the same person. So I said yes. She wanted some Michael Myers nails. I didn't have no stickers of Michael Myers, so I went as far as ordering her Michael Myers decals for her nails. Once the decals come in the mail, I go to text her and as I'm scrolling up, I realize that this is the same girl who had just told me that she wasn't gonna be coming to me anymore because I didn't give her $5 off her set. So once I realize, I immediately text her and I'm like, you know what, like I'm so sorry I didn't realize this was you, but I honestly don't feel comfortable doing your nails. I'll put the screenshot up on the screen so you guys could see exactly what I said. But it was something along those lines and I ended up sending her a deposit back and she just left me undelivered. So I wanna know if I overreacted or if you guys think that the way I acted was reasonable. When I did show the text to my parents, they were kinda like, girl, you shouldn't have said anything. But I feel like it's really important to set your boundaries too because I feel like it's not fair to let people walk all over you. Because if this had happened when I barely started doing nails, I would have definitely gave her that discount and would have been like, girl, I'm so sorry, like, here you go. Long story short, if you don't agree with a service provider's rules, you can always book with somebody else. But yeah, that was my story. Thank y'all for watching. Bye! Okay, y'all, so let me tell y'all how I had to turn away a client today. Okay, so this client booked yesterday for today. Whenever a new client books for the next day, it is always just something always goes wrong. Okay, so she books, she comes, whatever, whatever. She sits down in my chair. Miss ma'am, why does this have a whole medium French tip full set on that I never did? Mind you, the one policy, the, well, okay, I have like maybe five policies. Policies. But the main policy I have is all new clients must come with bare nails because I don't know if you have MMA on your nails I don't know if you have fungus on your nails. I don't know what baby just come bare nails It's just like when you go get braids come washed and blow-dried whatever whatever So now she's looking at me. I'm looking at her. She's looking at me like well What should I do? I'm like ma'am the best thing I can do is reschedule you for two weeks out 
because I'm booked out two weeks. So, you know, and she looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm looking at her like she crazy because, girl, it's the first policy. The best thing you're going to have to do at this very moment is just listen to my main man, Usher. And let me tell you, I'm going to tell you what you should do at this point. Give me like two seconds what you should do. Let me just tell you. One second. <laughs> LOL, did y'all like the joke? Okay, so anyway, she ends up leaving and then she messages me hours later, hi, can I get my deposit back? Ma'am, what? You just took up an entire slot that somebody else could have had because you simply did not read the first sentence on my booking site. Like, what do you mean? I just got my nails done and they came out so bad. I don't know if I want to cry or punch somebody in the throat. This is the picture that I used for reference so she could see that I wanted long, skinny, narrow, French nails and I just wanted it to be more of a you not a hard request very simple I didn't want the fucking diamonds I don't care for the butterflies y'all think this is okay wait till you wait till I show y'all the thumbs like I thought this was the I do for you business baby you didn't do nothing for me nothing what is this so like I said if y'all know a good nail salon that they're not gonna do this to me, this emotional trauma and damage, let me know. Because the way I just dropped $80 plus tip, I was just traumatized in the nail shop. And I know that might be small to y'all, but let me explain what happened to me. So, first and foremost, y'all know I am a nail kind of sore. I love nails that are unbelievably long a million diamonds a million stones design spiral nail it don't matter that's me today i decided that i was going to give my nails a break i was going to soak my nails off because i kept bumping into shit and they kept breaking or lifting so i was going to do a soak off and i was going to do an overlay because my nails have grown rather long so the overlay was going to not be as long as i usually wear my nails but longer than super short so my nail tech is not available, but my nails were kind of hurting. So I said, let me come to a local nail shop. Came to a local nail shop, right? Had the lady soaking off my nails, explain to her, you know, hey, I don't know if I just want to get gel polish or if I want to get an overlay. I'm not sure. So as we doing that, as we soaking off, you know, it takes two or three times. You got to dip it in the acetone i guess whatever it is to get the acrylic off the third time you know each time they shave it down the third time she's shaving it down, i'm not paying attention and she takes the fingernail clippers and clips my nail i said wait no 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 i want to keep the length so now one hand has nails longer than the second hand because she she clipped the first hand so she's like oh i'm sorry i will add acrylic if we get overlay, I'm going to add acrylic because I don't want no tips. I'm going to add acrylic just to make it meet the length of the other hand. That's fine. Cool. I ain't tripping. So here it is. Now we're putting acrylic on it for the overlay. For the overlay, she makes one hand meet the other hand. And then y'all know the part where they flip your nail upside down and start drilling? Bitch, she drilled the nails that are mine off. The whole fucking purpose of me having shorter nails was to wear the length of my nails. Bitch, the nail is gone. She drilled it off. There's no more nail under that. After I said it got acrylic on it. And look at these fucking... These, these nails look like the Smurfs. They, they, they look like the Smurfs. Like the hat to the Smurf. And it don't... See, this video ain't doing it no justice. It's fucking uneven, lopsided. What am I supposed to do with this? What shape is this? What fucking shape is this? And don't come telling me about you should have stopped this. She said she was going to fix it and shape it at the end. Look at this. So one girl had booked me when I finished and told her we were done. She didn't even let me finish saying, I'm just going to take a picture real quick. She got up quick as fuck and started walking to my front door where I stopped her and said, how do you want to pay? Girl, it took everything in me to keep it professional. This girl gives me the biggest side eye and tells me she will apple cash me the rest. Mind you, I had her phone number from when she initially paid deposit.
So I let this girl leave. So 10 minutes pass and she still hasn't sent me her payment. So I call this girl and of course I'm blocked. I go on Instagram to DM her and see I'm blocked there too. I go on my personal Instagram to DM her and she proceeds to block me there. I even texted her through my brother's Instagram and of course she blocks me every single time. So I'm getting ready to take my L. All I do is post on my story that this girl was not paying just to spread awareness to my fellow service providers. So 30 minutes pass and she proceeds to DM me through another Instagram and this seems to be her personal Instagram. So she tells me she was feeling achy so she was in a rush to leave my house because she needed to throw up. So this girl proceeds to play the victim saying she can't send me her payment through the Apple Cash. Duh, because she had my number blocked. So I tell her to just send it to my sister's number. I told her I know she blocked me and she starts coming at me. She claimed she was wiping the vomit off her phone. The time I got into a fight with a client and I lost. Actual physical altercation. All over a dog. And the lady was 50 years old. So, story time on that. So I had a client. 9 a.m. came. She had an appointment. She came to get her nails done. I'm doing her appointment. I'm at home nail tech. I'm doing her nails and then I get someone banging on the front door so I go to open the front door and I'm like hey it's my neighbor and my neighbor's like Angela Angela like the lady that came inside of your house she has a dog in the car and it's really hot outside the dog is gonna overheat so I'm like are you serious I go upstairs and I'm gonna name this client Miss Renda and I was like Miss Renda you have a dog in the car and she's just like Oh, yes, I have the dog in the car because he's messing up my hardwood floor. And after I get my nails done, I'm taking him to go get his nails clipped down and he's going to get groomed. I said, oh, well, Miss Renda, you can't leave the dog in the car. It's going to overheat. You have to take the dog out of the car. So me being the pushover that I am, she goes, well, what room can I put him in? Okay, he's going to come in here and mess up my hardwood floor. No, he can't come in here. So... I have a leash. I can give you a leash. You can kind of like tie him up or whatever. And give him some water and that kind of thing. So she goes and she ties him up in my backyard. And while she's tying him up, um, you know, I just go back upstairs to my appointment, like my room. And then she comes upstairs. Now, I don't know where she ties him up at. I just know that I gave her the leash. She went out back and she tied the dog up and she gave the dog a water bowl. That's all I know. I went back upstairs. She's getting her nails done. Now she's back upstairs. She's getting her nails done and she's on the phone. And one thing I've realized about Miss Renda is that she may be a drug dealer or she does something illegal. But I don't ask any questions because come get your nails done and that's all I want to do. That's it. So she's like arguing with her mom on the phone like, no, like the way my dad parked the car this morning, um, it seemed like he trying to set me up. And I'm like, what the heck is this girl talking about? But she's screaming. I work from home. My kids are in the house sleeping. It's still early in the morning. It's summertime. So I'm like, can you keep your voice down, Ms. Renda? And she was just like, like, and was like, mom, I got to go. And she hangs up on her mom. So I just stay quiet. And I continue to do her nails and stuff like that. I did iterate to her like my kids are upstairs sleeping. So she hangs up on her mom and I'm still doing her nails and everything like that. And then she goes... Do you mind if we go check on my dog? And in my head, I'm like, oh, you want to go check on your dog now? You wasn't checking on your dog when your dog was inside of the car dying. Okay. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Go check on your dog. So she comes. She goes downstairs. She goes to check on her dog. I don't know what had transpired. At that moment, I did not know what was going on. She comes up the stairs and she's flipping out. She's cursing. She's screaming. She's be this, be that. Just going off. And as she's coming up the stairs... I get so nervous because she's yelling at me. I didn't know what else to do because she invaded like my personal space. I felt as if I had to hit her. Not that I would have wanted to because when I tell you I know that Miss Renda lives a different life than me. I did not want to sit there and fight this lady. So I swang on her and I hit her. I think that was probably the worst mistake I ever made. Because next thing I know we're fighting for so long. I don't know if I even got any punches in because I was just being dragged all through my room. I had acrylics on the walls. They were all gone. They were all gone. My back was hurting so, so bad. And there was nobody there to break the fight up. And I was trying to fight her like it was my, like I was, like there was an invader in my house and I had to kill them because I knew my kids were there and I was losing. So it was, it was very scary for me. Um, at one point we stopped 
and was like breathing and she was still trying to attack me. And I'm like, I don't even want to do this anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, my back hurts. Like she hit me in the face a couple times. It was like a lot. I hear someone banging on the downstairs while we're like still like staring at each other and she's still trying to talk to me and stuff like that. And what confused me was how we stopped what we were doing and both went down the stairs amicably. We go down the stairs. I open the door. This is during COVID time. I say to the police officer, how can I help you? He was like, oh, mind you, she came up the stairs because her dog was gone and she was pissed off. I forgot to put that in there. Her dog was gone. So being that her dog was gone, it was like she was mad. When I open a door and I'm talking to the police officer, sir, I look across the street and I can see my neighbor with the dog in his hands. He had the freaking dog. Mind you, that means I just got beat up upstairs because my neighbor wanted to go into my yard and grab a damn dog. I tell the officer, I'm sorry, she just came in for a second. You know, she, she a drug dealer, you know, she don't, she don't be sensitive on nobody. She was like, oh, I'm sorry, I was just visiting my friend. She said she had COVID. I just came and dropped off a little bit of medicine. I gave her a little test, blah, 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 blah. She still got arrested. You know why she got arrested? You can't leave a dog inside of a car, but then you also can't leave a dog on like asphalt like hard uh, like hot asphalt so and then when they looked up her name i think she had a warrant for her arrest i really didn't get into that because he kind of went off with her but she got arrested mind you she left her purse she um well she left the dog my neighbor had the dog and i never really understood like how or why i hit her i did not mean to hit her and then believe me i didn't want to fight her at all but she hits me up like three days later and she's like Hey, I respect how you held yours. I understand like what, what what happened, but I really need my nails finished. Ma'am, you just dragged me in my whole entire nail room. Like my nail room is ruined. My back hurts. My face is bruised. I have scratches all over my neck. No, no. And then I was just like, I'm sorry, you can't come back. I do have your purse. What is your address so I can send you your purse? She was like, oh, what are you trying to set me up? Blah, blah, blah. So needless to say, at the time, I had to have Edward go and drop off the purse to her out of Wawa because I wasn't going to meet up with her. I was petrified. But, like, I don't know how that transpired. I don't know how it got there. What I will say is just, like, doing nails, I never expected me to get into an altercation like that. But it humbled me really quick. And... Just showed me that I really do pick and choose my battles, but this one was uncontrollable. And ever since then, I've been on a word like a like a road to recovery when reacting because that was the longest fight of my life. That was the most painful fight of my life, and more importantly, it was the scariest fight of my life. I don't know why I thought I was gonna die. So, yeah, just figured I'd share my story time with y'all. Y'all just got done doing this girl's nails, and she does not want to pay me. It's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. You I cannot I leave. Can't. You're not no. leaving without no. paying. I get your nails. Way. Okay, well, let no. me cut them off. I'm going to cut your nails no. off then. Let me cut your nails off then. Ma'am, it's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. If you don't want to pay it, then let me cut them off. I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to call the cops. Call the cops. I'll be waiting right here. Confirmation takes the day before. I told you that your mini bias was a hundred dollars. Get I'm gonna cut your nails way. off. I'm gonna cut your nails no. off. Let me just get the clippers no. off. Cut them off. You can leave when I cut your nails off. You're get not out leaving. Of my way. I need to leave right now. You're not leaving. You're not leaving with nails. You're not leaving with get nails out of that are done and you didn't I even pay win. for it. Oh my god, y'all, I just cut her nails off and she left. But this was the worst client experience I ever had, and I'm so happy that I recorded this so that I can show you guys what today we're gonna talk about the first and only client that I ever had to get in the boot. She was an older lady. I was very respectful. She was cool. When she came in, I introduced myself. She introduced herself. We got to it. I asked her what she wanted. She showed me. There were some short, square, white males with diamonds on top. I said, okay, we can do that. Now, at this point, I'm still a beginner, so I'm not charging that much. So, I did it for $55. Red flag number one was when she said, ooh, that's a little too much. So, then... So I get the acrylic all laid and all of that. She said she loved the shape. It was all good. Blah, 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 blah. 
she pulls out this bag and it's a bag of diamonds she say use these so it could be cheaper in my head i'm like girl cheaper what do you mean it's only 55 dollars so i look at her i say no i want to use the stones that i use because i just know how that to look and blah 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 so me being a pushover and a newbie trying to please a client i use her stones but i still charge her 55 dollars because that's not how that works so she like i love them i love them blah 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 but turns out she went to work and start talking about me because she works with my mama so here's where i messed up i let her book again and when she booked again she came in i'm like okay i'm not i'm gonna look past all the extra stuff so i started doing her nails she said she wanted how she had them last time so i do it and i shape them she watched me shape the whole set she look and she say this not how i had them last time i had squovel nails i'm like squovel girl you know i didn't do no squovel now i don't do squovel She's like, yes, I want a squovel. So I, I do her little squovel. So my mama walk in. She's like, oh, you're getting something different done to your nails this time. And she like, no, I don't know what y'all talking about. This is how I got them done the last time. And I just look at my mama and I'm like, you know what? Okay. So she like, put some more diamonds on them because I didn't like the way you had them on there last time. And I'm like, okay, ma'am. So I put some more on there. Mind y'all, this is only $35. She look and she like, I need more diamonds for how much I'm paying. So we get to the end of the appointment. She pay. Y'all, why she throw a dollar at me and go, here, this your tip. After that, she never booked again. Thank God. Hey, and this is what this is? Yes, this is how I do my squares. If you don't like what I do, then let's just be done with this. Because now it's like you're antagonizing me and like coming at how I do nails. Like it's really kind of rude. So in regards to this, since I'm not giving you what you want, I refunded you your deposit, and we could be done with that. I'm not. We're, we're all good. You don't, you don't even got to worry about it. We all good. I'm gonna open the door so you can.